Hello friends, welcome to Code Sutra. I am really excited to share this unique opportunity with you. We are conducting a workshop on binary search strategies where we will be covering from the very fundamentals of binary search. Then we will go on to advanced technique and hard level problems. So I mentioned the link in the description. It's a two day workshop on each day. It will be for two hearts. So do consider joining the workshop. Let's solve lead code problem number 673 number of longest increasing subsequence. See in this problem, we are not just asked to find the longest increasing subsequence, but we are asked what is the count of such longest increasing subsequence. For example, let's take one example. Let's take the example of 135. First of all is 135 a subsequence? Yes, it is a subsequence of this array. And is this increasing? Yes, right. All of them are increasing. So it is a subsequence of length 3. Now let's take one more example. 154. Is this a subsequence? Yes, this is a subsequence. But is this increasing? No, right. This is not increasing. So we will not consider that. Now let's take one more example. 153. Is this a subsequence? No, right. This is not at all a subsequence. Now, what do we have to find in this problem? We have to find the longest subsequences first. Which are the longest subsequences? The longest subsequences are 1357. And what is the other longest subsequence we have? 1347. So these are the subsequences of length 4 each and they are increasing. And this will be the maximum length because we cannot form a subsequence of length 5 from this array, right? Which is increasing. So this will be our answer. These are the two increasing subsequences that is longest increasing subsequence so how many of them are there there are two of them that is the count equals two and our answer will also be equal to two that is we have to count how many longest increasing subsequences are there now what is the brute force approach the brute force approach is we will be finding all the possibilities right for example we'll first take one three is this increasing yes now let's take one more subsequence one three five is this increasing and w once we have done with all the subsequence we will just have to find the longest among them and the count among them so this will be the brute force approach but do you realize what is the time complexity of this see for example every option as whether it can be included or not included. So there will be two power n subsequences and for each subsequence we have to check the options also and that will be very huge number of calculations which we don't want to do. But if you look in the brute force approach itself, what is the recalculation that we are doing here? For example, let's take this subsequence 135. If we take this subsequence, we already know that this is an increasing subsequence. Now if we are adding 7 to this, do we have to check once again if this is an increasing subsequence or not? Why? Because 7 is already greater than the ending number, right? So can we just add to this 1, 3, 5, 7 and also increase the length of the already existing subsequence by 1 and just make it 4. Say for example, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, something, something and the length of this was equal to 6. Now if we are trying to add 13 to this, instead of recalculating once again, can we just add to this and increase this to 7? Yes, right. So that is what I am say saying. That is we need not calculate this at all. But what we can do is, we can remember till 3 what is the length of the longest subsequence and we just have to add one if the number is greater than that. So what is the optimization here is we will have a DP array. Okay. So ending with one, how many subsequences are there? There is only one six subsequence that is increasing subsequence. Now for three, what we will do? We'll start from I is equal to zero j is equal to 0 and we go on till 3 and we will check how many numbers are lesser than 3 and what is the maximum length that we can form. Now for 3 there is only one option and is 3 greater than 1? Yes, so 2 which says we can form 1 comma 3. Now for 5 there are multiple options. It can either go to 1 and it says let's form a subsequence. Now in that case 1 and 5 will be the subsequence and it can also go to 3 and it can say let's form subsequence with already the subsequences that you have already formed. So in this case for 5 the answer will be 3. That is ending with 5 we can have a length of 3 as the maximum subsequence. Right? Similarly for 4 there are two options because it cannot go with 5 
it has to go with either 1 or 3 so it will go with 3 and now the length will also be equal to 3 similarly for 7 there are all the options you can go with any one of them to form but both with 5 and both with 4 it can form that is 3 and 3 and it will become 4 now this is the key thing this 4 can be formed with this 3 and also this 3 so that is the key in this problem so if it can form with this 3 as well as this 3 what does it mean it means 7 has two options to be formed and that will be our answer why the longest subsequence can be formed in two different ways so our dp array will not just be sufficient why because see in this problem these three which was formed from this two there was only one two so this can only be formed in one way but what if this three had one more option for example this was the dp array one two two three three four now if you look at this this three can be formed with this two also this three can be formed with this two also what does it mean it means this three had two options two options and this three also had two options now how many options does this have it's not two it is four why these only have two two options and this four can combine with these and form four options that is two plus two options so that is the key the dp array won't just be sufficient we also should have the count array what is the count array so how many can be formed for example this four can be formed with this three and this three and the count of this three and this three will be one so this four can be formed with two similarly let me explain this with one more beautiful example very beautiful example let's form both dp array and count array for this problem let us do that right here. for one what is the option it will be one and it will be one it is straight away for six again the length will be two but the number of options is just one for five also the length will be two but the number of options is just one for seven now the things it can either form one six seven or one five seven that is it can go to this number also this number also it can form a length three what is the number of options the number of options it has was this and this right so the number of options is two here similarly if we go to this 15 what is the option it has it has this option of three so it has just two options why because we have to send this options and not just one so this has two options and what is the length the length is four similarly for 10 what is the option it has options from this that is two plus one that will also be equal to uh is it three plus one one six seven yes it will be three plus one again it will be a four and it will be again two all right now for this 18 this is where interesting part comes in now it can it has again two option that is four and four whose length will be equal to five but if you look here this two and two should be added that is it has four options so our answer in this case will be equal to four see guys i want you to give the print or print out these two statements and form various examples and try to find it out you will be very easily be able to understand these concepts now let's dive into the pseudo code and don't forget to add a print statement here to print both the dp and to print the counter because it will explain the problem in the most fantastic way possible so what are we doing here we are having one dp array and we are having one count array where all the numbers are initiated to one at the beginning why because a number itself can form a subsequence so that is the idea here now what we do is we go on to all the numbers and just like we did we look at all the options prior to that but what is the condition the condition is that this number we are considering should be greater than that number right for example one three five this is the subsequence form and we are trying to add six can we add it yes can we add four to this subsequence no right so that is the condition that we are checking here now what is this condition that we are checking here we are checking that if for example we had this option uh, of four say we had here just two and we had four here 
now though we want to consider this two will not be considering why the dp value is already five which was gotten from this four so we will not consider that two because that is not the number that we wanted so that is the condition that we are doing here and also we'll be changing if the number is changed we also have to change the count to count of j because the number of options that we were able to form should also be changed and this is also the statement that say for example it was able to form with 3 comma 3 that is the length of 3 comma 3 and each had a possibility of 2 comma 2 so we should add this two also this two also that is if the value is same we should be adding both of them so that is what we are doing and please don't forget these statements don't write it in the answer but don't forget this statement finally what we will do for all the maximum for example in this we just had one maximum that is length of 5 but we can have multiple right just like in previous example we had multiple options so for all of them we'll be adding the count of 5 finally we'll be returning the answer see uh, this problem might be little difficult but if you solve this problem this is a sub problem very similar to this problem this problems become very easy so there are three very similar problems to this that we have selected and we'll be discussing this in a dedicated telegram group so do consider joining the telegram group whose link I have mentioned in the description and don't forget about the workshop. It is a very exciting workshop that we'll be conducting for two days. Do join the workshop and finally we'll be diving into the code. The code is actually very similar to the pseudo code. We are just filling with one after we have formed two arrays. There are two loops as we have discussed. This is the condition number. This is in fact the first condition that is the number has to be greater. Then this condition that is will not be considering every number but will be considering only the max length. So this is the condition and don't forget these two important statements where we have to add the possibilities and finally don't forget about these two. I have commented this. I have written and I have commented this. Why? Because I want you to go through these examples, form your own examples and print out these statements. You will be able to understand this problem even more deeply. Finally, we will be returning the answer. Thank you for watching the video. Please do like, share and subscribe.